Mike Landon from Los Angeles, California. Good morning, America. Good morning, Michael. And we're going to see what Michael Landon's up to a little later this morning. And good morning. I'm David Hartman. Joan is off this week. I'm Denise Yamada. It's Friday, August 8th. before eight right now next month the first earth run it's a run around the world to mark the 40th anniversary of unicef united nations children's fund and a lot of children will be involved so will michael landon bruce jenner talked with him about why he decided to pick this project well the first earth run for world peace uh, this is the international year of peace and I think it's a chance to begin to get the people really involved. I mean, everybody really sort of gives up on the idea that there should be peace in the world. We're, uh, we're so accustomed to war. And the attitude generally is, I can't do anything about it. I mean, that's all taking pay place behind, uh, behind closed doors, and I, I'm helpless to do anything. But the fact of the matter is that people aren't helpless. People can do something. Uh, if, if billions and millions of people get together, they can demand peace. They can make peace happen but they have to be involved in it. The more we communicate with each other, the less afraid we're gonna be of each other. It seems like on television we see so many bad things that are happening throughout the world, but this seems like an opportunity to, to use television for something that's really very good. Is the media attention really important? Very important, very important. And I would hope that, that news broadcasts mm -hmm. will begin to carry a day by day, event by event, a report of what's taking place with this earth run, with this run for peace. So the people begin to get the feeling that there is something else out there. What can you tell, uh, teach your children that maybe they can go out there to help make a difference in this world? Don't judge other people. Um, don't think that there's something wrong with someone just because they don't believe something the way you do. Um, and it doesn't take any more energy to be nice to another human being uh, than it does to be nasty to that person. And in being nice, you can take a person that you... But whether he's nice back to you or not makes no difference. You've left a seed there. That person is going to have to think twice if, if you've left them with something good. Speaking of children, you just... Had it yourself another one. Yes. Congratulations. Thank this you very makes much. number number nine. All right. <laughs> yes. Sean Matthew. I got Mark and Matthew. I just two more. Luke and John, and we got it right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael, I, I see you're running in Malibu on the beach. Uh, are you going to run? Are you going to be involved with this? Uh, yeah. Fortunately, it's a relay, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I can hand that torch off any time I have to. I suppose. Uh, everybody can be involved in the Earth Run, and everybody should be involved in the Earth Run. I mean, you can be involved in organizing on your community level. There are hundreds and hundreds of ways to do that. You can be involved by, by sending $15 to, uh, to the first Earth Run. You get an Earth Run t-shirt, which enables you to, to run with the torch. And there will literally be millions of people running in this. Millions of people. And be part of it, because uh, someday you'll have the opportunity to take that that t-shirt that you should save uh, and maybe give it to a great grandchild or a grandchild and realize that perhaps uh, the reason he is alive is because you were part of the earth run. That run, by the way, will begin at the United Nations here in New York on the 19th of September. It will end there about two months later and we'll tell you more about it in the days and weeks to come. Right now, 11 minutes of Maria Conchita Alonso after these words. We are also going to be taking you live to the United Nations here in New York City to meet Donny Osmond along with rock stars Peter Gabriel and little Stephen Van Zandt. They're going to tell us why a bunch of people are off on a run around the world, and Bruce Jenner will be on location for that. And Hello, this is Nancy Reagan. The children of the world are the future, but for one-third of them who are threatened by hunger and disease, the future isn't very bright. UNICEF is helping to save these children. UNICEF's goal is to vaccinate all children by 1990. Let's help them reach their goal. This Halloween, call 1-800-972-5858 for information on how you can help UNICEF.
Department, Joan Lennon. Donny Osmond is going to run in China. Peter Gabriel and Peter Van Zandt are performing. Uh, and our own Bruce Jenner is going to run as well, but not in China. The whole thing is called the First Earth Run. It will start later today at the United Nations here in New York. We'll take you live to the UN in just a few minutes to see what all this running is about. Thank you, Steve. Right now it's 34 after. Later this morning at the United Nations in New York City, a torch will be lit. That torch will be carried around the world over the next few months as part of an 86-day event called the First Earth Run. It is a celebration of 1986 as the International Year of Peace and the 40th anniversary of UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. Runners will carry the torch through more than 50 cities, including New York, Moscow, Paris, Jerusalem, Calcutta, Tokyo, Melbourne, and Buenos Aires. Uh, one of the runners will be singer Donny Osmond. And our special correspondent today, Bruce Jenner, is with him now at the United Nations. Good morning, guys. Well, good morning. How are you doing this morning, John? I'm doing fine. Beautiful Hi, shot John. there. Hi, Donnie. Bruce, maybe you'll start us off on telling us about how the opening ceremonies are going. Well, later on, we're going to have a concert with Peter Gabriel and Steve Van Zandt. There's a lot of happenings going on here. But right now, we are concentrating on the torch and getting that ready to go. Because as you just said, it goes around the world starting here today. It goes to places like up the Eiffel Tower, to the top of Mount Everest, through Moscow, and on the Great Wall of China. Now, one of the people who are going to be running it on the Great Wall is Donny Osmond. I'm not a runner. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. How'd you get involved with the project? Well, and they called me up, and uh, I thought, you know, here's another charitable organization uh, wanting some time and, and efforts. And well, when they started explaining the program to me, how it really helps out uh, the children all around the world, particularly with UNICEF, which is one of the most respected agencies in the UN, I thought, hey, why not? And if I'm, if I'm going to do it, I want to go to China. I was there about four years ago and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, are you in shape? No. <laughs> Do you want to help me? Yeah, well, I, I, I might be able to. Who knows? I might be able to get over there. But I'll do you probably... run or do anything like that? No, I don't, no. man. But I will. One, two. I better. One, I'll go a block and drop. <laughs> and, uh, why I did, why did you pick China? What is the fascination with China? Well, I was there about four years ago, as I said, and I wasn't able to spend too much time over there, about two days, and it was just working. I didn't get a chance yeah. to see the wall, and uh, I just love the culture over there. I love the people. And I just think uh, a country with a billion people in it, there's going to be a lot of interesting things coming out of that country Certainly in the next is. decade. There's a lot of things happening. It's really a great festivities that are going on here, getting ready. But, uh, John, I'm going to give uh, Donnie a few yeah, tips on well, running, so uh, we'll send it back better. to you. Please don't <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys, Donnie, good luck to you. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you. We're going to be hearing more about it later on in this half hour. We're also going to have an address later on in the program for those of you who'd like to get involved in the project. Right now it's 36 after, and we're going to go to Spencer Christian after this. And Spencer's going to have updates all throughout the First Earth Run on how the guys are doing. We'll be back.